MLB 14 The Show is another great baseball outing almost by default as it returns all of the rewarding game modes along with the strong fundamental hitting, pitching, and fielding mechanics that made this series famous. But as a returning fan, I had a hard time getting excited about this year's new features outside of the obligatory roster updates. It's got a couple winning ideas, like player-made scenarios and cross-play support with the Vita, but with the laggy online play and load times as long as a Red Sox-Yankees game, it feels like Sony reached the limits of what the PS3 can handle a year or two ago. Now from Chase Field in the capital city of Phoenix, Arizona, MLB The Show is on the air. As always, players look and animate beautifully including myriad little details right down to end-over-end -end bat flips after a swing and miss. All of it controls well, and you've once again got plenty of control options for each aspect of the game. In particular, I find that pulse pitching strikes the best balance of realism and fun. But again, this is all stuff I saw and liked last year, so it doesn't really feel new and shiny. Well, On the field, Road to the Show has long been the show's signature mode. In assigning your created player a single position and only playing his at-bats and defensive plays, it's once again a bite-sized, tough-to-put-down mode. It consistently rewards your good play with the training points you can spend on improving your avatar's skills and inch him closer to his Major League debut and, eventually, long career. A new pre-draft showcase, which seems to have been lifted straight from NBA 2K12, gives you the option to get drafted after playing in an amateur showcase. But I can't believe there's no way to skip the reading of the names during the round. Road to the Show is MLB's biggest and sharpest hook, but MLB 14 casts a few extra lines in the water this year as well. Community challenges let you craft and upload scenarios, both realistic and improbable, for others to play. For example, I created a tense two-out bottom of the ninth in Game 7 of the World Series situation. Meanwhile, Franchise Mode has finally gone online, though my experiences thus far haven't been good. I suffered frustrating levels of lag and choppiness in head-to-head -head matchups, while load times in general, but particularly when jumping into online modes, were long. That's even with the recommended 10 gigabyte hard drive install. Adding cross-play, but sadly not cross-buy, support for the Vita version of MLB 14 is an incredibly welcome feature, particularly when modes such as Franchise can be enjoyed for dozens if not hundreds of hours. My other favorite new time saver is Quick Counts, which drastically reduces the amount of time it takes to get through a 9-inning game by starting every batter on both teams with a deep count, much like the IGN softball team's Beer League rules. I only wish it could be toggled on or off during a game. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And those are the Sports Center highlights. MLB 14 again offers rock solid pitching, hitting, and fielding mechanics, and multiple choices for each one. This is, yet again, a stellar baseball simulation that's packed with enough quality game modes to occupy and entertain me for the entire season but there are few exciting new features. Hopefully we'll see the wow factor return in the upcoming PlayStation 4 version. For more on all things MLB The Show, you're already in the right place, IGN.